Hey Jolly Babes, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I created this gorgeous Koi Pond um, Suki style nail art. If you're new on here, thank you for checking out my channel. And if you're into nails, then please press subscribe. So I'm getting straight into this and I'm going to be taking you through the steps to prepare your nail for a gel manicure that is going to last. So I have a metal cuticle pusher here. It's dual ended and you're going to use that to push back and remove your cuticle. So this is really simple. So I start at the side of my nail and work it all the way up and then I come from the other side of my nail and kind of meet into the middle. And all you're doing is removing any dead skin. You're pushing that cuticle back. So that's going to avoid um, any sort of lifting or chipping. So I know, especially when we're feeling all inspired, we want to just get straight into a nail design. Um, and you can kind of be tempted to skip these steps. But if you want your gel manicure to last for a long time, then I suggest you, you just put in the time and do these steps because it really will help um, to prevent your nails from um, chipping or, or lifting, which is going to be so frustrating if you spend a lot of time to do a gel manicure, if it chips within um, one to two days just because of pure, sorry, poor preparation so the next step is to lightly buff your nail so i'm using a divine by natasha lee um, buffing block and i don't overly buff you can end up causing your nails to be really sensitive and cause damage if you overly buff these if your nails have got quite a lot of ridges um, and you want to um, get rid of that then i'd use a polish that's going to help sort of balance your nail out more don't try and buff out the ridges you will have very very painful fingernails and it's not necessary then you want to make sure that the your nail is shaped how you would like it i don't particularly have a shape <laughs> i just kind of like file it until i'm happy i don't naturally i don't have my nails my natural nails that long because they just they tend to break easily and um, so i try and keep them short so to avoid any sort of bad breaks then you want to get a cleanser um, or isopropyl alcohol and this is just going to remove any um, of the dirt or oil from your nail. It's a really, really important step. Um, you don't want uh, any sort of like residue on your nails. You want them to be as clean as possible. So, um, you know, the gel is going to sit properly on your nails to avoid any like lifting and chipping so i rub all around the nail area and the skin and you know really rub it and push it in and then once i've gone all around it i kind of go underneath the fingernail as well just to remove any sort of um, dirt from underneath because obviously you do have to run your brush on the end of your nail to cap the free edge then I'm using Kiki London's uh, primer, basically with gels, what, the way they work best is that the gel, the, um, the layers kind of stick together, whereas if you just put a base straight onto your natural nail, it hasn't got anything to stick to, whereas with a primer it's got something to attach to, um, which all helps with longevity of a mani. So the next step is to apply your base coat. So you want to apply it nice and thin and nice and even and run the brush across your free edge that is the end of your nail to cap it and seal it. Now, before you pop it in the lamp to dry it, I would take some isopropyl alcohol and a cleanup brush and just go around your nail and make sure that you haven't got any of it that's sort of like leaked out onto your skin because if you don't see it and you cure it in your lamp, it will be stuck there and then that will cause chipping to, to happen. So these are the two base colours that I chose. They are Madame Glam gel polishes and the pink one is Floris and the um, greeny turkey wise one is Boat Trip. So I think these colours go absolutely perfectly together and they're really nice and bright, um, which is what I was going for. So when you're applying your gel polish, obviously you don't want to go right up to your cuticle area and right down to your side wall because that will have, you know, that will cause flooding, which 
it isn't very good it, it's quite messy and again it can cause lifting and peeling so just get it as close as possible edge it back up if you can nice thin even coats leave it to self level for literally like 10 seconds before you pop it into the lamp after you, obviously you've done any um clean up if if you've needed to do any clean up and i chose to put the boat trip on the thumbnail so please excuse my really dry skin it's what uh, quarantine does for it with the continual cleaning of your hands i am putting cuticle oils on but obviously um i probably need to put it on more than i am doing so this is um, how it all looks together. So I'm gonna add a little bit of uh, sparkle now. So I think, and I should have labeled it, I don't know why I haven't. I think that is a VS Nail Art glitter. Um, I'm gonna have to try and find it. Um, and if I do, I'll leave a link to it. But um, I'm gonna be applying that into a wet top coat just because um, I can move it around and kind of almost encapsulate it a little bit. So I've just sort of decanted some into the lid and I just, I thought this was perfect just to add that little bit of sparkle and obviously they're iridescent glitters as well so it's going to kind of like show off, uh, uh, you know, a, a, an array of colours uh, dependent on how the light hits it. And also, if you do have stuff on it that you don't want, you can just scrape it off like I have done there. I just think this adds like a little bit of depth to the money, and then obviously, you know, has that little bit of bling as well. So, after you've cured it in the lamp, I am coming in with this Beauty Big Bang kind of um, they're like flakies and they've got holo holographic in them as well, but um, yeah, they're really, really, really pretty. So I'm just placing that onto the nails and obviously that just goes into the no wipe top coat that I had um, applied previously. So I'm just spreading it all around and then like rubbing it in, not too much because obviously I do want that flaky look as well. But it just adds some extra bits of colour and I just thought it was super pretty. Then you want to uh, seal all that in with a layer of top coat. So there is quite a lot of layers of top coat with these two nails in particular, but I just think it's worth it um, to protect it because of all the, the work that you're uh, putting into this. So obviously you want to cure that in your lamp as well. And if need be, you can buff the surface of it if you've got some glitter that's sticking out. I didn't need to, but thought I'd uh, say that just in case. So this step is optional. I added it because I just thought it added that little bit more of the depth and it was a way of using these marblings a little bit more. So I'm kind of obviously I'm trying to go for a pond um, look with the water. So I'm kind of adding a little bit of the different colours in because obviously a pond it is a variety of colours that you get with the greens and the blues. Um, I just thought it, it added that nice little touch of detail and it's not really that difficult to So now it's time to add some stamping and I am using this Moyu London stamping plate. As you can see, I haven't used it as it's still got the blue film on it. Um, I actually got it last year, but it can't, I think it was last year anyway. It might have been this year, I can't remember. But it's quite a new one on Moyu London. It's from their Suki collection. So obviously it's got, you know, oriental theme throughout. So I am just uh, removing the blue film now and um, just give you a little quick glance over the plate at the different images. So I'm going to be using this image right here for um, my middle and ring finger. So you want to have two stampers ideally and again ideally clear it will just help you with the placement afterwards. So I'm just going to uh, scrape this image now with the stamping polish and pick up and you can see that that's being picked up really nicely so I'm just using a lint roller and getting rid of the excess bits that I don't want. So obviously um, you can fill it all in if you're in that kind of frame of mind but I'm literally just focusing on kind of the one side of it um, for adding the details. Obviously um, 
don't know how long we're going to be in this pandemic for so i don't know how long my stuff's going to last so I'm trying to make it um last that little bit longer by, by not using it when um I'm, you know i'm not going to be putting the whole of this image on my nail i don't think it'll particularly fit so i'm just focusing on where i want the color to be so i decided to use like three different colors for the like um leaves or lily pads um, I just thought it made it like extra pretty and obviously brought out those uh, pond colours a little bit more. So I've got a mix of like matte and shimmery polishes as well. I do love my Hit The Bottle stamping polishes. Uh, they're very good. So for the Koi Fish, I am going to be using um, again some more um, Hit The Bottle pol uh, stamping polishes. So I'm going to come in with Poison Apple first and I'm just going down the sort of like the fin of the fish and yeah on, on this one I'm like the I don't really know what they are the side fins <laughs> I'm using all red and then um, what I do is I come in with this uh, other color um, and I'm just placing that basically everywhere else other than the head because I'm gonna do that white So I'm going to show you the colours I used as well now to do the flowers on the other side. So I've got Chrome is where the tart is. I think that was Nectar of the Gods. And this is from um, Born Pretty's Illusion um, series, which is Plum Spring. So again, uh, I am just adding um, bits of colour here and there. I didn't want to just use the one colour. And I really liked how these colours went together. Um, and it just made it you know really pretty with the flowers and again a good mixture of the matte and the shimmer polishes so once it's all dry just to make it pop that little bit more because I'm placing this over it's not particularly a dark color but it's not white I'm um, filling in obviously the head of the fish and then going over the stamping images that I have filled in it just helps make that color pop that little bit more um, on your nail so it's definitely worth the extra step in my opinion So um, I'm going to leave that to dry now and while that's drying I'm going to be adding some of She Modern's foil glue onto the top of the nail and that's what the stamping image is going to stick to. It's kind of like a foolproof way to um, do advanced stamping because obviously do you remember when we had to put like a layer of top coat wait for that to dry peel it off place it on sometimes you'd stretch it sometimes the image was rip you won't get any of that if you do this method it will just stick to it if you don't have she modern foil glue you can use like a transfer foil glue that works just as well so to um ease up the cleaning afterwards i am applying some liquid latex around the nail just um for easier clean up afterwards so now I am going to uh, place the stamping image on the nail. So this side I wanted the greeny leaves coming more. So I'm gonna try and get it in as much as possible and show you. And there you go. Obviously this would look a lot nice if you've got longer nails, but I still think it looks pretty even on my short nails. So there you go, it's transferred absolutely perfectly and I'm really, really pleased with that. I just love all of the, uh, you know, the catch of the glitter when you get it in the light and it kind of gives like a little rainbow colour. So here's the other image now. So I've obviously, I've flipped it round so I wanted the flowers being on that side as well. And I just really loved uh, the colour contrast and the colour combo with the pinks and uh, you know the blues so I, yeah so that was how I've chose to do the image I didn't want it looking exactly the same so with my metal cuticle pusher I'm just separating the stamping image now just so it will peel off easier without damaging any of the um, you know the image that's gone onto the nail already so just a quick peel off and can you imagine if you had to wipe all that off it just obviously it does it's not perfect but it just makes that clean up a little bit quicker 
So I'm coming in with some acetone now and a clean up brush and just going round the nail and you know neaten it all up before I go ahead and apply the top coat. So um, a little way um, to avoid um, smudging and also to give your top coat something to stick to, I have put a layer of the She Modern glue gel on it. Um, just for the reason that I've already stated in that it gives something for the no wipe top coat to stick to and which all helps with the longevity of your money. So I'm coming in now with the no wipe top coat. So with this one, I'm using the velvet top coat actually on the pink nails. And then I um, I also put the velvet top coat on the thumbnail as well. And then I leave the middle and the ring finger glossy. This is a great step if you're finding that your money is lifting or chipping after a very short time of wearing it. So check it out and uh, let me know if it helped you with um, your sort of money to stop it from lifting basically. So I'm nearly done now. I'm just showing you the image that I'm placing onto the thumbnail. I didn't use the exact same image on both. I used a um, different one. I think I used the one next to it. Uh, so I place this image on one of my thumbs and then I use the image on the right of it and place that on my other thumb. But I'll show you that at the end anyway. So I'm getting rid of any of the excess um, image that I don't want. And I'm just kind of placing this in the middle of the nail. Like so. And I didn't want to add anything else so that is how it is left. And this is the end result. I'm really, really happy with how it turned out. I think it's a super pretty. I love the bright colors. I love that little shimmer and hint of glitter that you get. Um, like I say, so it seems like it's quite a lot of steps, but I personally think that it's worth it. And I hope to wear this for two to three weeks. So I don't mind putting that effort in. So this is how the thumbnails looked as well. So, I really hope that you like this money jelly babes let me know what you think of it in the comments box below if you would like to recreate it i would love to see your recreation so tag me in on instagram at jellylicious and i will share your recreations in my instagram story so that is it from me today so stay home stay safe try and stay sane as possible and i'll meet you back next week with a new now video